Into the fixtures for match day 16, it's going to be Brentford versus Watford, Manchester City versus Wolves, Arsenal versus Southampton, and Chelsea face off against Leeds United. Into our first feature game now, and it's going to be between Liverpool and Aston Villa. Of course, this is the derby for Steven Gerrard against his former club, now managing Aston Villa, back to Anfield. This is the match that everyone will be watching. Into our fixtures for part two, it's going to be Norwich versus Manchester City, Brighton face off against Tottenham, Burnley face off against West Ham and Leicester City face off against Newcastle. Into our second and final feature game is going to be Crystal Palace versus Everton. Everton obviously got the win against Arsenal last week. Crystal Palace looking to return to winning form. Who will get the win here? Rafa Benitez versus Patrick Vieira. Let's get into it. Our first game up is Brentford versus Watford. Two championship teams from last season. Here we go. Brentford take the lead 1-0. Now it's 3-1. 3-2. Watford have level back. Watford get one more. Incredible. It's going to be a draw at the minute. 3-3 and the points are shared between Watford and Brentford. Up next we have Manchester City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers into the middle of the marbles go who's gonna get a win here and Wolves get the early lead but Man City come back and now it's 3-1 3-2 in a minute 4-2 as Jack Grealish scores there to get the win for Manchester City so Pep Guardiola gets the three points up next we have Arsenal versus Southampton Mikel Arteta is trying to stop a two game losing streak into the middle of the marbles go Arsenal take the lead but now it's 2-1 Southampton hit back it's now 2-2 Livermento scores and makes it 3-2 as Southampton get the win over Arsenal we are off to Stamford Bridge next for Chelsea versus Leeds who will get the win here into the middle of the marbles go Goal for the Leeds, goal for Chelsea, goals going in everywhere. It's currently 4-3 to Leeds as Kante scores. They're going to win this Leeds. Three points for Leeds, but Lukaku has other ideas as it is now 4-4 and the points are shared between Chelsea and Leeds. Here's the return of Steven Gerrard to Anfield. Liverpool versus Aston Villa. Can Gerrard get the win? Goal for Liverpool, they've taken the lead. Now it's 2-0, 2-2, they've hit back. But now it's Mings, he gets the winner. That's it, three points for Steven Gerrard at Anfield. Our first game up of part two is Norwich versus Man United. Can Ralph Rania get another win under his belt? It's a goal for Man United. They're currently leading 2 0. Now it's 2 1. They've hit back. But it's another goal for Billy Gilmore. He levels it. Will there be a winner? Billy Gilmore's goal saves Norwich a point. Up next, we have the game between Brighton and Tottenham. Tottenham looking for another win under Antonio Conte. But it's a goal for Brighton early. They've taken lead. It's now 2 1 to Brighton. Now it's 2 2 with. Hoiberg scoring the goal and he's going to share the points between Brighton and Tottenham. Up next is Burnley versus West Ham. West Ham the huge favourites here. Can they get the three points into the middle marbles? Go well, half of them. It's a goal for West Ham. They've taken a 1-0 lead. Now the rest of the marbles coming in slowly but surely. It's 2-1 now to West Ham. 3-1 to West Ham with Declan Rice getting the goals and it's three points for the Hammers against Burnley. Up next we have the game between Leicester and Newcastle. Leicester looking to add three points after a poor defensive display again. Leicester get two goals early. They're currently winning but Newcastle hit one back. It's 3-1 now. Can Newcastle fight back? No, it's going to be three points for Leicester. Our final game of part two is going to be Crystal Palace versus Everton. Can Patrick Vieira get a win after two losses on the bench? It's an early goal with Rizal, they've taken the lead. Crystal Palace currently lead, but now Everton hit back and Everton add another one. It's now 2-1 to Everton and they add one more from Townsend to win the game and get a 3-1 win. The results of the Premier League Marbles match day 16, Brentford 3, Watford 3, Manchester City 4, Wolves 2, Arsenal 2, Southampton 3 and, and Chelsea versus Leeds finished in a 4-4 draw. Into our first feature game now and it was a win for Aston Villa and a win for Steven Gerrard on his return to Anfield. Goals from Mings, McGinn and Buendia stopped goals from Mohamed Salah and Jota and it's 3 points for Steven Gerrard. Into our second part of the results and it was a 2-2 draw between Man United and Norwich. Brighton versus Tottenham was also a 2-2 draw. West Ham got the win over Burnley and it was a 3-1 win for Leicester over Newcastle. Into our second feature game now and it was Everton who got a 3-1 win over Crystal Palace with goals from Richarlison, Townsend and Decore counting out Wilfred Zaha's early goal and it's three points for Rafa Benitez. The Premier League marble table for match day 16. Newcastle cut their lead to one point at the top with Everton moving up from third to second. Liverpool dropped down from second to third. Aston Villa are up from eighth to fifth. Brentford stay in seventh place with Chelsea staying in sixth place. Crystal Palace are down four places with not too many changes in the mid table. But looking at the bottom of the table, Leicester move up from 19th to 18th, continuing their fight back in the Premier League marbles. Now looking at the updated top scorer list, it's Ivan Tony with 10 goals in just seven games. Mohamed Salah is keeping him honest with nine goals. James Ward-Prowse currently follows behind with eight goals. Lukaku, Hee-Chan and Antonio all have seven goals. Mulpe, Zaha, Phillips, Ronaldo, Rice, KDB, Wilson, Gilmore and Neves all have six goals. But Tony is the current leader. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below if you're new. A Premier League Marbles Match Day 17 is coming soon.